Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where your Android device for some reason just keeps giving you the little pop-up that some Android app is not responding. Whether it's your camera, an app you downloaded, your internet browser, whatever the case is, this can happen for a lot of different reasons, but I'll go ahead and show you a couple of ways to go ahead and fix this. Now, first of all, this is literally the main way that I would recommend to actually fix this specific issue if your apps are just not responding or if they're closing or whatever, is to literally hop out of the app you want to go into your settings, so go into wherever your settings is. Once you're in your settings app, you basically want to find your application manager. So it may take a couple seconds for you to find it. There should be a little thing that just says apps or applications or application manager. I don't even see it. So right here, once you click on it, you'll pretty much be presented into this little place. Now what you want to do is you want to find the specific app that's causing you issues. So let's just say it's like, you know, like Snapchat, for example. So let's just say we're getting Snapchat, it's not responding. But what we would do is we would go ahead and find Snapchat right here on this list. We'd go and click on it. And once we get into this specific panel, we would want to go ahead and locate on the bottom right where it says force stop. All we want to do is click force stop, click OK, and we want to just force stop this application. Now, what I would recommend you to do is hop out of here and go back into that app and see if you're actually able to open it. If you're able to open it and it works fine, then you're perfectly set. Let's say for some reason you open it and it's still giving you issues. Well, what you would do here is you would go ahead and go back into that app. You would go ahead and go back into that app within the settings app. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and basically clear out some sort of, you know, cache or whatever the case is. So if you go and find some sort of, you know, storage icon, you can click there and you can go and clear data or you can go and clear cache. Either or clearing data will clear everything from that app. So keep that in mind. But clearing cache you can do is just, you know, cache files that were stored in the background. You can go ahead and try opening the app again and you should be able to open it. And hopefully it's fixed. Now, if you're set, then you're good. If you're still having issues where for some reason your apps are just not opening it up, you know, or they're like not responding or it's, you know, says keeps crashing, whatever the case is. Well, another thing you can do besides that first portion is to literally go ahead and restart your device. Now, again, this sounds so basic, but sometimes it's the most basic stuff that helps you out the most. So what you want to do is hold down that side button on your phone, whether it's a Samsung, whatever the case is. You want to go ahead and restart your device. So go and click that restart button. And you just want to wait till your phone fully restarts. Now, once it fully restarts, you want to basically go back inside of that app. So you can go and open up Snapchat, whatever the app is. And you should be able to see that your phone should be functional for the most part and it should be working. There can be a case where maybe it doesn't work out perfectly, but this is normally the thing that would probably fix it. If the first thing doesn't fix it, simply just restarting the phone may actually fix it in and of itself. Now, let's say that doesn't fix it either. It's probably more rare than you would believe. But another thing you can do in this specific case is to actually go ahead, is to actually go ahead and go into your Play Store. So you would want to go into your Play Store. You want to find the specific app. So let's say it's Snapchat or whatever. Let's just say it's this one. You want to look for it and you want to update this specific app from your Play Store. Sometimes you may have installed a faulty app. Sometimes it may have not worked out perfectly. So basically just by updating the app may actually lead you into a better situation and may actually fix it for you. So that's another thing you can do. And the final thing, and now if none of these things work, you can rewatch the video, you can try, you know, factory resetting your phone. But by the time, but typically those are just the main ways to go ahead and fix it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.